I can't believe that I did this whole reading and I didn't push play. And guess what? I ain't starting over though. Mm. The overall energy was when before I shuffled was the King of Wands. And then I got the word card for your past. Clarify the page of cups. And then you um somebody left somebody out in the cold, but the worst is over because it was reversed. And then you maintain the balance because people coming at you. Was clear then the next card was clarified was the two of wands. You waiting for something to come, your ships to come in to make something happen. Then we got down here. It's crazy though that I said the six of pentacles came out. This could also indicate a, a juggling energy, but it clarified with the chariot. Fast moving into a partnership, relationship, or friendship that you got out of confusion with and you cut through it with some truth which could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius and it was something you hoped and wished for that was granted you got judgment over it in the past and it took you to the, the Ten of Cups happy family life you just moved forward then I came over here and I clarified a Queen of Cups. So I want to offer you a cup of emotion, which is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, right? It was clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. I keep getting this. This is a gift for some type of money. Money could be checked for. Something's coming to you that's handed to you from the universe. Clarified by the Magician. You got everything to make everything happen. But you got the cup that represent Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. By the two of wands again, you waiting for your ships to come in and you got the whole world in your hands. You're trying to wait to make something happen. Clarify by the universe gave you the ace of cups. A new beginning opportunity and emotions and everything which represent Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. Then I went down here and I clarified the six of cups. Somebody from your past, right? Because this was the first card was out. This is the cup. Page of Cups. This is something I want to offer you friendship, but it's something bullshit. And this, this represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. When I clarify, I got the Six of Cups that said somebody from your past is coming back. Then you got the Four of Wands. Then you got the Hermit. Then you got the Nine of Pentacles. Then you got the King of Pentacles. So what I was saying, because that's where I stopped at, is I see that somebody from the past want to offer you a bullshit relationship or friendship but they also see like they want to do some type of celebrations this could be an engagement or a marriage this is a Taurus energy this is a priest you go to or a pastor somebody you go to when you get married and then it went to the eight of pentacles and then the king of pentacles now what I was doing when I noticed that I didn't even um When I didn't even know that it wasn't plain, I was at the Four of Wands when I put this deck down because I want to find out who want to, you know, I already know that it's Tars that want to start some type of engagement or marriage, but you queening right now, my Capricorn, and I don't think you're going to accept that. And then it went right back up to the King of Pentacles. Like, you got everything, and I don't know if you're going to want to take that. So, I'm going to clarify the Four of Wands. Universe, Spirit Guide, Holy Angels, please clarify the Four of Wands. Yep, the Knight of Cups. This is a person that's not to be trusted. That's what it's saying. So, the person that want to offer you... This type of proposal, marriage, engagement, togetherness, or um, um, some type of togetherness event, they're not to be trusted. They're not who they appear to be. And cups represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or they could want to offer you some type of emotion and they want to try to marry you and get engaged, but they're not to be trusted is what it's saying. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to clarify 
the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Universe, Spirit, Guy, Holy Angels, please, Claire. Okay, I got the Temperance. You got to have patience. And you're going to see what's going on. I'm going to clarify. Temperance. Universe, Spirit, Guy, Holy Angels, please clarify. One card, please. The Temperance. Why is the Temperance here? Wow. The sun. So, once you don't believe none of this and you just, you stay with your patience and you don't rush into nothing, you want to get the sun. The happiest card in the deck. So, I'm going to leave that alone because it's letting you know that they're not to be trusted. So, I'm going to go to the three of cups because this is a third party energy or this is basically could be a celebration, but I feel this is third party energy. So, we're going to clarify that. Three of cups. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please tell Capricorn what they need to know about the Three of Cups. What do Capricorn need to know about the Three of Cups? There's a choice you got to make blindly. It's a decision. You at crossroads about some type of third party situation. We're going to clarify that to a swords. Wow. You got the Six of Swords. You want to leave the past behind and you want to move forward in this situation. You don't want to deal with none of that. The swords represent some type of truth. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you could just be in your sword mentality. We're going to clarify that six of swords. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify why the six of swords is here for my Capricorns. What do my Capricorns need to know? What they should look out for? They, they going to be looking at some things that they lost, but they don't see the two cups that stand in. And that's the Cancer Scorpio energy, followed by the four cups. Their emotions is all intact, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, but they don't see the universe trying to hand them a cup. And they cutting through the bullshit with the truth. So that's what they that's what they focusing on. They just not be. Now I'm going to clarify the Ten of Swords, why the Ten of Swords here for my Capricorns. Universe. Spirit guide, holy angels. You got all these cards that came out. This is the nine of wands. This my intuition, this is my institution or my jail card. A wounded warrior, followed by the high priestess. This is something that's hidden from you yet to be revealed. Patience will reveal all. Somebody that's locked up is hiding something from you that could bring a painful ending. You got the three of pentacles reversed. Upright means you want to build something with something. This way is you don't want to build something with them. You're not thinking about building nothing at this time. Then you got the page of swords reversed. This indicates that someone's spreading gossip and rumors about you. And you got to get it to get it together so you can let it all be known. Somebody's lying and gossiping about you. I'm going to clarify what's hidden. Universe, spirit, guy, holy angel, please clarify the high priestess. Why is the high priestess here for my Capricorns? You got the four of swords, rest, retreat, and pray, and you will find out what's going on. Please clarify the three of pentacles reverse. You got the strength card in, them, in that circumstances. Please clarify the page of swords. Why is somebody talking about my Capricorns hating? Wow. It gave you all these cards, but I'm not giving them to you. Universe, Spirit, God, please clarify the Page of Swords. It came back out anyway. You got the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Maybe your Pentacles is reversed because of a certain certain situation, but you about to get victory and all that shit, no matter what they talking about. Hey, so that's a good thing. I'm going to clarify this lover's card, this choice you got to make with this lover. Universe, wow. You got lovers that came out again. Double whammy is a choice you got to make in two situations. And one of them is a lover. Universe, spirit guide, holy angels, please clarify the lover's card. The knight of swords. The first was somebody coming fast, cutting through something with the truth. And then you got the four of pentacles reverse. Means that you in debt. You keep it something too close.
please clarify the other lover's card. You got the queen of wands. You want to make something happen, but you have to make a choice. Please clarify the three of pentacles reverse. You got the ace of wands, a new idea, birth of a pregnancy, a new beginning. Clarified by the ace of swords upside down reverse. That you got to get truth and clarity out of the matter, but it's just not the time. I'm going to clarify the Ace of Swords. Universe, Spirit, Guy, Holy Angel, please clarify the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for my Capricorn? Somebody want to offer you a cup of bullshit, Page of Cups. This could be Cast of Scorpio or Pisces, but I don't think you're taking it. Let's see. Clarify the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Why is the page of cups here? You trying to stay balanced in this situation. And this could indicate a, a, a third party situation. But you maintain the balance. Now you got the king of pentacles. Which is your Capricorn energy. I'm going to clarify why the king of pentacles here. You got two cards. You got the death card reverse. Means you won't budge in a certain situation. And you move foot forward. You're not looking back. And your emotions all intact. Or you could be dealing with a cancer Scorpio or Pisces. But you move it forward and you're not looking back. You're going over that mountain type top. That ends your reading. It basically lets you know that you're out. You're not dealing with nothing. You're not going backwards. You're not doing none of that. So, that's a good thing. Universe, okay. For my Capricorns, you got wisdom. You got release. And you got acceptance. You got to accept the things you can change and the... Ones that you can't, you got to let it go. You got to release all your burdens and stress and worries. Everything, just leave it to the universe. And that wisdom woke you up to see the real deal in situations. And that's for my Capricorn from April the 15th to May the 15th, 2020. Because these supposed to got read yesterday. You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you and your loved ones at home. That's because somebody is gossiping, hating on you on the low. But the universe already know who it is. And that's why I stay doing my spells. And then you got spread your wings. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. Move forward in your life. Let them all hate. Let them see your wings open wide. Let them see everything that you're doing. Because at the end of the day, what goes around goes comes back around. And it's reversed back to them everything that they're doing. Hello from heaven. Your loved ones in heaven are doing fine. Let go of worries and feel their loving blessings. This could be for me. I got a lot on my mind about a couple of people that passed, but the universe saying, stop worrying about them in heaven. They safe. You got to worry about the here and now. So that's for my Capricorns. And then I got codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Maybe somebody that act like they want to be with you in a situation is just being codependency. Codependency is somebody dependent on you to take care of them fully, and that's not how it is. The universe give us wisdom, wisdom to understand when we being used, and we got acceptance so we can accept things that we can change and to release, release our exes, release the drama, release the bullshit. That's how these things roll. Spread our rings so we could go and soar high as we do as Capricorns. Yes, they may be gossiping. Yes, people may be talking. Yes, people may be pointing. But that's why they in the same situation they've been in for years and years and years. Same house years and years and years. They don't even own nothing yet. Let them talk. Because at the end of the day, God said that he see everything and we are safe. This covers our reading. And this is for my Capricorn um, for the whole month to May the 15th. I wish everybody happiness, love. I wish everybody um, guidance and everything. And I hope all have a great weekend. I hope everybody get their money that they're looking for because I know some people that really need their money. They don't need their money to go do negative, take the money they give you and you turn around and do negative with. I know people that's really going through something right now. So I pray for myself that everything that I'm waiting for come through and I'm going to just have to have strength the whole time about that situation. And I know it's about to come, a new beginning, new opportunity, new money, because it's all coming from the universe. Amen.